Welcome and thank you for joining us for the industrial and recreational seating webinar designing for success. This presentation will only be about 20 minutes long. Leading us through this webinar today is Morburn's sales manager for VAC form and transportation, Rich Ostriker. Rich, thank you for being here today and please take it away. Thank you, Ashley, uh, and thank you for attending this webinar. Um, my background is 25 years with Morburn. I've been responsible for VAC form for that entire time. Prior to that, uh, my experience was at Uniroyal, also handling VAC form for them for 10 years. So I've got 35 years of experience on the VAC form side. So hopefully we can address most of your issues as it relates to this. Please recognize that this isn't a seating seminar. There are other applications for VAC formable vinyl, but we're not going to discuss them today. We would be happy to discuss them at another time, and we can talk about that later. So what we're going to do today is um, talk a little bit about vacuum forming, give you an explanation first of who Morburn is and what we do, but talk a lot about the vacuum form process, what it is and why you would use it, give you a little more details of the actual process itself, then talk about the products that we have available for vac forming, some trends that are going on in the market that have happened in the last couple of years, which have uh, caused us to make some changes in our product offering. And then talk about the real competitor we have in vinyl seating, which is our own cut and sew products and how they compare. And from there, we'll just uh, end it from there, okay? So with that, I wanted to make sure you understood who Morburn is. We're a privately held company located in Cornwall, Ontario, Canada. And we're very proud of the fact that this year for 2020, we were named one of the 30 best managed companies in the country of Canada. So we think this is a really high honor and reflective of our, our commitment to the industry and to our customers. We would hope that you would share that belief as we move forward. Um, the market segments that Morburn primarily deals with, and we deal with a number of segments, but the ones where we spend most of our time is in the automotive company, automotive side, uh, where we're talking about seating surfaces and A and B pillars and a lot of interior parts. Um, this slide also talks a little bit about our background tells you that we have a plant in Cornwall, Ontario, Canada, a fabric plant for our backing fabrics in Lachine, just outside the Montreal airport. We make our Mordura fabric, which we'll talk about shortly, down in High Point, North Carolina. And then we have partners in Asia that we also use. So we're vertically integrated. We have worldwide responsibility and we have distribution centers all over North America and another one in Europe. So we think we're poised to be able to take care of your business wherever you wanna use it and we're looking forward to working with you. This is an example of one of the major markets that we service, the heavy duty truck market, uh, the 18 wheelers, the Kenworth and the Peterbilts and, and products like that. You can see in here that there's a number of places where vinyl is used. In the interior of a sleeper cab or an 18 wheeler, there's approximately 32 yards of vinyl. Almost all of that vinyl is Morburn's vinyl. There are different constructions for different applications, such as the sleeper curtains and the sidewalls and the back walls or the cabinets, armrests and visors, all use different vinyls. But as you, as you can see here, we're able to match them all together and have them look the same for the same vehicle. So we think that's a very positive thing to work with us. I would be remiss, although this is really a vinyl application discussion, if I didn't talk about a Mordura product, Mordura is our only fabric product that we offer that is fabric on the surface. It is a uh, circular knit Cordura nylon product that would appear to look like corduroy, has two attractive patterns in a large range of colors. You can buy this product a roll at a time out of stock. And the real benefit to this particular product is normally in a truck seating or delivery truck type seating. FedEx and UPS use these trucks and they guarantee the seats for a million miles. So the abrasion resistance is unbelievable as well as wear. Um, we can color, do specific colors for you. It does have UV resistance, but this is something if you're interested in, you can go to our website and learn more about it. This is our customer base. Basically, the, the leading customers are the largest customers that we service. You can see in automotive, we sell Ford and GM, Volvo, and also Nissan. In the marine industry, which is also a very big business we handle, we service Bayliner and Sea Ray. Those are some of our partners in the uh, recreational seating. We're with Polaris and Club Car, Bombardier, EasyGo, Articat. You'll see a lot of those. Um, and then again, in the heavy duty trucks, you're looking at Peterbilt and Kenworth. Um, in agricultural type seating, you've got John Deere and Case. And then in the RV market, you've got Fleetwood and Winnebago. So this is just an example of some of the peoples that we service, some of the customers that we service in our normal daily lives. 
Okay, let's talk a little bit about the VAC form process itself. It requires a number of steps. VAC form comes in vinyl um, in a roll. So we can do it anywhere from 20 yard rolls to 100 yard rolls, depending on your application and the construction of the vinyl itself. Vinyl, for those of you who are not aware of it, this is all supported vinyl, which means the vinyl is on the surface. In some instances, there is a layer of foam, vinyl foam, and then there's fabric on the back. For vac formable fabrics, we use a circular knit nylon product, which we'll talk about later, that has um, stretch capabilities. So we take that vinyl and we cut it off the roll, we cut it into a blank, and then because it's flexible, we put it into a clamp frame to keep it in its place, and we take that clamp framed vinyl and we put it into a, what looks like a pizza oven with heat on the top and on the bottom. Normally there's more heat where the fabric is because the, the fabric is a heat sink. And then we leave that in there until it gets to be between 280 and 310 degrees. Now, depending on how hot your oven is and what type you have, that can take anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes. Um, once that material hits the proper temperature, we pull it out of the oven and we draw it over a, a mold or a tool using vacuum to allow the vinyl to accept the detail of what that mold or tool has. We formulate the vinyl to allow, with heat, the vinyl to accept the new shape. If we don't do that, when we take the vacuum off, it would revert to its original shape. So we leave it on there until it has accepted the shape and then we cool it. It has to be cooled to allow it to go back to its original state. And then we take that off the, off the mold, unload it, trim it, and finish it. If we're doing a pour in place process, we would female form that material and then pour the foam, uh, the, the polyurethane foam in, close the lid, allow that polyurethane foam to fill up the tool. And when you're finished, you'd have a finished seat that you just would have to trim and put it back on. So that's the difference in the two processes of vac form, uh, but that's basically the process itself. Here's an example of a vac form seat, a very typical vac form seat. This is a lawn and garden tractor. It happens to be mine. You can see that's a fairly simple design. It's all one color. It uh, is for high volume applications. You can make this seat over and over and over. And, and uh, from the time you start to heat the vinyl until you're finished taking the seat off, it's probably less than 10 minutes, uh, even allowing the foam to cure on a pour in place process. So what this does is allow you to make a lot of seats economically, reproducibly, and a seat that would be resistant to water. So if you left this lawn and garden tractor out in the weather and it rained, you wouldn't have to worry about the normal holes that come from cut and sewing from a needle, uh, which makes this a lot easier and very functional for the use that it has. This is another example of a seating application in back form. This is the golf cart market. This happens to be a beverage cart, but the seat in this instance is the same, whether it's a golf cart or a beverage cart. You're looking at a two piece seat on the top is one seat on the bottom is another. And what you're providing is a homogeneous product that is resistant to rain, to bug spray, to perspiration, and to um, sunscreen. So this allows the vinyl to protect the foam layer underneath because that's normally where feet seat failure is, is the foam has a tendency to deteriorate first. And it allows the product to be functional and fit and work well in its application. This is the third market that we service, the dental chair market. In the dental chair market, it's very important for you to be able, especially now with the COVID-19 virus, to be able to clean this product. So with no holes in the product, this product is very easily cleanable. It's very stylish. It gives you a good look. And the other part of the medical field that we work with is nursing homes. So now when you start dealing with older people and you're dealing with blood and vomit and urine and perhaps uh, IVs, you wanna make sure that you're able to protect the foam layer and not have anything get down into the seat itself which would cause the seat's life to be shortened. So this is another example of a place where we use our material. We talked before about a 360 degree stretch nylon product. This is example of, an example of two of our vinyls which have been stretched already. We take a, a, blank, a small blank of material, we heat it into an oven, put it into a clamp frame, and then we push a plunger through it to see how far it would go. This is an example of uh, a gray and a black and the type of 360 degree stretch that you can get with our material. So let's talk a little bit about the products that we do offer currently. We have a solid on knit product, which is a VAC 45 Endeavor. So what you're looking at is a solid uh, layer of film, a vinyl with the 360 degree stretch nylon fabric on the back. That is for, I'll show you in a minute what those products are for. We'll talk about Endeavor shortly. In addition to that, we offer a product with the solid layer on the top and then a foam layer in the center, 
which makes it an expanded product. And we offer that in three different thicknesses. So what do we need that for three different thicknesses for? Well, for one thing, um, the, the seats that are being used here have various stretch ratios and draw ratios. And the more difficult and deep you're drawing the seat, the more vinyl you need. Picture yourself in a, in a um, candy store watching them pull taffy. The farther you pull the taffy, the thinner the taffy gets, right? So if you've got a product with a deep draw, you're gonna, at the corners where the draw is the deepest, you're gonna have the thinnest amount of vinyl left, which will affect the life of the seat. So by going to the thicker material, you'll have more product in the corner, which will allow it to last longer. That's the two basic types of products we have. But, but most of the vac form products that we make are made to order. They're not sitting in stock where you can buy a roll at a time. So we do add other additives depending on your end use. We have a product called XLP, which stands for our extended, extended life plasticizer product. This product was developed during World War II with Caterpillar. There were a lot of people who were fueling vehicles in World War II that had no idea how to put them in and weren't worried about how any spillage with kerosene or gasoline. And what happens is the plasticizers, when you make vinyl, are what keeps vinyl soft and supple. So when the plasticizers leave the vinyl and, they, and gasoline and kerosene has a tendency to extract those plasticizers, you wound up with cracked vinyl, which doesn't last very long. Take into account the same thing on your skin. You have oils in your skin, just like we have plasticizers in vinyl. If you wash with solvent or you use the wrong soap, your skin can get very dry. And the reason for that is the oils are, are coming off to the surface and you're taking the oil out of your skin. In much the same way, you can take plasticizers out of vinyl. So by having extended life plasticizers, that will allow you to have product that will last longer. All of our products for outdoor wear have UV stabilizers in them, but all of our pigments that we use for every color of vinyl and every application has UV stability. We don't use products that are not UV stable, but that will allow the, that will prevent the color from fading in light over time. We also provide mold and mildew resistance for outdoor applications. Now I say resistance and not, uh, we're not able to keep it from happening. Excuse me. Mold and mildew normally occurs in the seat foam comes from the backside. If it's a cut and sew seed, it, it goes through the holes. So what happens is the mold and the mildew starts to develop in the foam, and then it migrates through to the backside of the vinyl. And what we're doing is preventing the mold and the mildew or resisting the mold and the mildew from coming to the surface, not preventing it from happening. But by putting e, uh, EU uh, additives in, excuse me, wrong word, um, it allows us to prevent that vinyl from, ha uh, resist that vinyl from occurring to the surface. You've also got outdoor ap applications where you're looking like a snowmobile seat or an ATV seat where someone's going to go out and ride that vehicle in minus 40 cold crap or minus 40 weather. If they hit a branch or they run into something, that vinyl can, can have uh, microscopic cracks in it. We can provide plasticizers that give you st stability from resistance to cold crack up to minus 40 F. The way we test that is we fold the vinyl over, put it into a minus 40 um, refrigerator, bring it out, hit it with a hammer. If it doesn't crack, that works for us. Some people require fire retardants in their products. We can do that also. And then we'll talk here in a minute about fabric looks and specialized print that we do with our Endeavor product. This is an example of a single rider ATV. You can see it's a very simple seat, but the volume on this is very high. Some people use three or 400,000 yards of vinyl in this application. So what you're talking about here is something very simple. So this can be either a film product or an expanded product, depending on what you want your vinyl seat to do. But you can see it's very simple and easy and works very well for, for uh, the 45. This is an example of an expanded product. Again, we talked about golf car seats before. <clears throat> One of the negatives of vac form is that you can't do multicolored seats. What this particular seat is doing is we've got a base on it for our cloud on the surface. So that gives you a little depth. But again, the ability to make something that's fairly modern looking, reproducible, Golf car manufacturers are running anywhere from 450 to 600 seats a day. If you're going to cut and sew all those seats, you need a lot of people to be sewing seats. And that can be a very difficult thing for you to get from a labor standpoint. So this is another way to get that done. This is an example of the Endeavor product I was talking about before where we're able to duplicate a fabric look in vinyl. This is vinyl. <clears throat> this is a um, screen jet printed, inkjet printed vinyl done at our facility in Cornwall, Ontario, Canada. Manufacturer who uses this material sent us a file in different layers. 
They get, they sent us the file of the back brown, then they sent us the first layer of the um, branches and then the branches and then the leaves. So we, we scan all these and we print this and we do it all at one time. This product runs very slow, but you can barely tell the difference between fabric and vinyl. And now you get all the reproducibility and cleanability of vinyl for it to last for a long time. This is a little more expensive than our standard materials. This is available in both vacuum form products and in cut and sew. We would encourage you if you want this in a vac form product to not draw the material too far, because what you do is you'll draw this material and you won't be able to see what it is you're paying for. <clears throat> so vinyl has been around over 50 years and a lot of things have changed over these many sunsets that we've had <clears throat> for about 60% of or 65% of our market. Nothing's changed. People still like the reasons why they went to vac form in the first place. But there are some other people who are looking to do other things. And that's what we want to talk to you about now for industrial and recreational seating. This is an example of the first Articat snowmobile. You can see this is not to look at. It's functional. It's over 50 years old. And you can see that the seat was just functional. They was, weren't trying to do much with it. All they were trying to do was to get you across whatever it is you were riding on snow as quickly as possible. So that was over 50 years ago. This is what a snowmobile looks like today. You can see now they're selling color, they're selling style, and they're selling function, and they're selling comfort. And we're trying to help people do that when they design a seat application. This is another market where color is becoming important. This is the side-by-side -side ATV market. And you can see here on the body of the vehicle, you've got three different colors. You've got a gray or a silver, you've got black, and you've got orange. In the old days, a vac form seat would have been put on there. It would have been either black or gray or orange but it wouldn't have been everything. So now what they're able to do is they're able to take different colors and different grains and different glosses, all of which are available from Morver, and provide a different look. So you've got the orange seat there with a the leather grain and a high gloss. On the back where it says general, you've got STX grain and a low gloss and with a top coat on it, the protective finish on it that will accept this decal. And then down in the center, you've got a, a low depth grain that has um, dielectric seating in it to give you another look. So again, three different colors, three different grains, three different glosses uh, to give you a look. And then they add to that the orange uh, thread to give you even more style and design flexibility. And Morburn can provide all of this material and does for this manufacturer. If you remember, we talked a little bit earlier about the single rider ATV. This is another single rider ATV seat with a whole different look. There's three different materials on here at the top and in the two corners. You've got a metallic silver material at high gloss. Over here on the side, you have a geometric material with a medium gloss. And then on top, you have STX grain, which is a low gloss, dull product. And then they've also added the silver um, thread to give you another look. So again, giving you the ability to make style part of your seat instead of just function from normal back form products. Here's another example of a snowmobile seat where the manufacturer is trying to draw these colors in to match the body, the work of the snowmobile itself. On the front and the back of the seat, you see orange and a high gloss leather look. On the side is a white leather look product that accepts the decal from the end user. Up in the front, you have a high gloss black geometric, uh, grain, geometric seat. And then in the center, once again, you've got uh, a light grain with the dielectric seating. So again, giving you the look to be able to do styling in a recreational seat different from what you can do in back form. This is an example of a marine seat. The red material is called Wave. It's available to you, anybody who wants to buy it out of stock at 40 yards a roll. In the center is a white product that we make for this particular marine manufacturer that we make just for them. So that's a 1500 yard order at a time. But for a seat manufacturer, that's much. And what it does is it gives them the ability to get a little bit of high style. Uh, this is from our adrenaline collection on the outside, the Wave product. We also have some other geometric products, both in high and low gloss as you might like to see later on if you want to go to our website. Here we are back with Endeavor. This is a product, again, the end user has taken the body of the material and dipped it in his camouflage look so that the outside of the product is, is camouflaged. And what they've done is they've asked us to do something on the inside with the seat. So what we did was we provided the Endeavor to give them that same look of the same embossed material or camouflage material on the outside of the seat and on the seat bottom. Then they have a geometric um, product both in the center of the back and on the sides, and then a high gloss leather look with a, with a decal app application. So now you're getting some real styling going on for the same application. Here's another snowmobile application where they use our Endeavor product. The manufacturer asked us if we could duplicate their camouflage pattern 
And you can see we did that. Over on the side of the seat, it almost looks like the branch has extended up into the um, seat itself from the from the vehicle from the vehicle. Um, that's a minus 35 cold crack material and customer used it on a individual seat. And it was very well received in the marketplace. So if you have an application similar to this, that's when you need our Endeavor product. That's what we have to show you on the, the different applications. If there's anything that you'd like to go over in more detail or learn a little more about, we would encourage you to go to morburn.com to our website. You can get one of these catalogs, which would show you all of the products that we have there in stock. You can also find out who your representative is in your area if you want to discuss this in more detail, or you can contact us directly. And with that, I'll turn this back over to Ashley. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rich. That was wonderful. And we really appreciate you taking the time to My share pleasure. your knowledge with us. My pleasure. Have a good day, everyone. Bye now. Thank you.